essence of India is in the confluence of its cultures. But what is culture? If it is a geographical or historical definition, then aren't we simply stifling it within boundaries? It is probably in our collective consciousness allowing its seamless nature to blossom. When languages and religions come together to form one entity, it is this confluence that makes India's culture. The India Immersion Center was formed in response to a felt need of giving explanations of Indian culture. In the past 15 years, my team and I have had an opportunity to work with 70 plus nationalities and answer some of the questions which seem very simple. One of them would be, why is the cow holy in India? We've learned to give simple, effective and respectful responses to questions that are asked on Indian culture. So we would say something like, India is an agrarian economy, so the cow is respected and almost deified to preserve and protect it in India. Then the question will come pat back. How come it is eating from the garbage on your streets? So we would say, well, India uses banana leaves as throwaway plates. And those banana leaves are dumped into the garbage, which our cows are going after and rummaging to eat up. So it is to explain nuggets of information on Indian culture that the India Immersion Center has been set up to do. The programs allow you to immerse yourself into India and understand the Indian behind India. Our programs and curriculum have been made with two things in mind. One, it is based on international research that goes into the phases that people go through during relocation from one country to another. And it, we have melded it together with the emotions that are enumerated in our Navarasa of Indian dance, whether he is a visitor or a long-term resident in the country. Fusing contemporary space and Indian architectural detail, the facility offers a cultural museum feel through signages on all the artifacts that are on display. Culture is presented in small nuggets in an Indian courtyard, a multi-purpose auditorium, a conference room for smaller gatherings, a rooftop terrace for social functions. And within these settings, authentic experiences of India with displays of doors and windows collected from different states of India are offered. One of the many programs we offer is the Learn the Language, Live the Culture. It might be English for European, Japanese or Korean expatriates, Hindi, Tamil or Kannada classes depending on the region, including hands-on activities like vegetable buying for the fine art of bargaining, Indian film and music appreciation, Rangoli or embroidery workshops for touch and tell stories all the time while the visitor absorbs the language and the culture. The Taste of India program is a niche one which runs on the theme of experiencing India over a meal. So we call it taste but essentially it is experiencing India through all five senses. We have had business delegations, heads of state, founders of Fortune 500 companies, tourists, business travelers, spouses and relocating families all enjoy this program and proudly wear India on their sleeve thereafter. Other programs include opportunities where cultures meet the best of Indian minds and many learning avenues are provided for yoga, Bollywood, Indian cuisine, festivals and celebrations, encouraging them to share their view on India literally through a photo competition of beautiful India. IKEA 
India was a flagship event that India Immersion Center put together very recently. This is a music cultural journey that takes you through the different states of India, highlighting the specialty of each state and its unique culture, and at the end of the day, realizing that no matter where you go, India lives in you. Immersion Center concept, culture is looked at as a way of life to imbibe it and live it while you are in our land. 